Hello and welcome back. So we're on the final stage now. At this point, our our bots are pretty well rounded. You can see the the spawning positions here. Uh, this enemy is not using assaults. He's bringing the two sniper, two shotgun, two machine gun. But one of the things I wanted to add that I was talking about is a little bit more base persistence. So I'm going to add that on a new connector here, and what I want to do is basically try to make sure that I'm on a base. So if uh, a base is or within short range doesn't exist, then what we want to do is move to the closest base that is at medium range of me. So a base that's short range of me is a base that we're standing on. Medium range then would be a base that we're close to, but not on. And we want to make sure that this base that we're moving to is also near an enemy. So distance from closest enemy. Now, if we move toward bases that are short range of enemies, we're going to walk into enemies that are already controlling the base. And it's going to cause more problems than it solves. So let's uh, let's look at medium, long, or uh, let's not use out of range because out of range is global. So if we look at only medium and long range from the base, then what it should do is move to a base that has enemies near it that is close to me, but I'm not on, if that makes sense. Uh, it's a little convoluted but if you see it in action, which I imagine we probably will, then it, it'll probably make a lot, more, a lot of sense. So we're going to watch this guy. So you can see here, he's now doing this node. He's trying to move to the base, but the enemy got to the base before he did, so he stopped. And that allowed him to shoot the enemy and repel them from the base. Uh, we are losing on this side, though, pretty handily. Uh, this map is going to be a bit of a problem. Alright, so... Uh, we, we saw a bit of an issue there. So this is our new node kind of backfiring a little bit. You can see we're shooting. We see the, the base open up, but the enemy was already fighting us. Um, so there's some things we can do real quick about that as well. Uh, so instead of putting this here, let's go ahead and move this out of the way, put our medium attack node there, and put the base movement node there. That way we will fight enemies that are within medium range of us and then move to the base nodes. Uh, at that point, I think we can get rid of this range check here. Since, we, uh, since we're checking to shoot first and then move to the base, we don't need to be as cautious with the base movement. Let's see how that goes. But the, these bots down here, or on the right here, this first bot especially is basically screwed. There's not much we can do. But we did start capturing the base before they did, so that's nice. We are sitting on this base pretty comfortably. And this is about the part before where our, our bot was malfunctioning a bit. And you can see we, we've built up a little bit of a point lead already. Um, it's still more than enough time for everything to go awry and all, all of our best laid plans to fall apart. But you can see that we are still consistently scoring more than they are. And that's because we functionally have two and a half bases, whereas they have two. And that's working out pretty well for us so far. Uh, we've got our four spawn really close to the base that we're camping too, which makes it just a little bit better. And this bot's trying to retreat, but going back and forth on it. Uh, domination maps, they tend to have messier spawns than 
other maps, and that's what's causing our bots to wiggle back and forth. There are some things we could do about that. We might have to look into that, but the problem is our bots are being targeted by enemies on both sides, and there's only so much we can do to prevent them from falling apart. So here you can see the spot was moving toward the, the right base, got close enough that it decided to move toward this base that we control so that it can stack up and give us the bigger multiplier. So even though the enemy has controlled more bases than us this whole time, we actually have significantly more points than they do. And that's working out pretty well for us. Uh, our assault here pushed forward and nudged their shotgun away. And we actually managed to take this right base away from them. Uh, we're not going to get any points out of it, but we did stop them from scoring. And this top base is actually fairly secure because of how far away of it, from everything it is. Uh, so our bots getting up here and neutralizing this is actually pretty good because this has been basically free points for them the entire time. While all the fighting has been happening around these two bottom bases, the, this one was just scoring free points for them. Uh, and we captured it, but their shotguns are going to take it back, no problem. But again, we took it away from them for a little bit, and I'm going to call that a, a win for us, at least a little bit. Unfortunately though, they have won pretty hard on the right here. Um, they didn't push nearly as hard as we did, which is why we've had bots camping on this base a lot longer than they've had bots camping on theirs. But now that they're on this base, that's going to be a bit of a problem because we've been having a hard time dealing with these bots here. Their snipers are providing a lot of pressure, the machine guns themselves are very durable. But our bots are keeping the enemy pretty busy. Uh, we did manage to clear out all of their bots over here on the right, so that's a little bit of a surprise, and a welcome one at that. And see, there, that was a bit of an issue here there. Uh, let me go ahead and rewind that a little bit. Let's watch this, this top bot, right? So you can see it's trying to shoot this one, but it retreated out of medium range. Meanwhile, this bot here is just consistently shooting. So I think... One change I would make is change this weakest shield to closest enemy. Um, in other game modes, it's important to kill the target you're shooting at, so we went with weakest shield, which is what we've been using in other game modes. But in Domination, I think it would be more advantageous for us to just shoot the nearest target, because the nearest target is the one that's presenting the greatest danger. However, our bot did survive up top. We uh, we took the one on the right. We were never going to hold it, but we did take it away from them for a moment. Uh, we took this top one. We're camping on the bases pretty hard. So we it looks like we're actually going to pretty soundly finish the final stage here. Timer counts down. Alright. But, uh, as I was mentioning, I think I would want to switch this to uh, closest to me. Uh, in other game modes, this wouldn't be a great idea, but in here, I think it works pretty well. Um, but yeah, um, much like the collection AI, I'm pretty impressed with how this one actually did. Nice and simple, but it performs pretty well, as you saw, and cleaned up chapter two of the campaign pretty nicely. So with that said, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.